Today we're going to be making gorgeous geode coasters. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be able to decide on what colors you want to be able to make this in. So the one that I'm showing you today, I have mixed up a color using our blue pigment and our gray micas. So you'll notice, look, it, you can almost see through it. There's a lot of metallics, that quality of that resin and mixing that with the micas is going to give you just a wonderful uh, metallic look. And then you'll notice how we gilded the edges with gold, but we'll do that in another video. So you're going to want to take your um, acrylic glacier hardener and your acrylic glacier resin, A and B. You're going to always want to mix these one to one. So it's good to use a measuring cup, even better to use a silicone measuring cup to mix it together one to one. Now, this is a container that I've already mixed. You want to make sure that once you mix the A and the B together, stir it really well for at least three minutes. Stirring the sides, making sure when you're getting ready to pour, that way it's all blended well. So I'm gonna pour a little bit in here. I'm gonna do about a quarter up height onto my mold. And if you need to, you can use a, um, a tongue depressor or just a wooden stick that we have here to be able to make sure that it's, it's leveled out and it goes to all of the edges of your geode. Now you'll notice it's really good at self-leveling. So just after a couple of minutes, it's gonna start self-leveling and it's gonna allow you to be able to go in and pour in your color. So I used a combination of things here. I used a dark blue and a dark gray mica. I mix a little bit in a container first, then add my already mixed one-to-one -one resin and then stir it really well and then add more resin to it. So now, let me show you what that looks like. When you are mixing your color, whether it's a mica or a pigment, pour just a little bit of the mixed resin, your one-to-one -one that you've already mixed together, into the bottom of your measuring uh, cup. Now, you never want to use more than 6% of a color or a pigment or a mica. So add just a little bit of white, Strasbourg white pigment. It's going to go a long, long way. You want to make sure that you press the sides, you want to stir it up, you want to make sure that that pigment is diff diffused throughout all of that small area of resin that you have there. So once you mix this really well, you'll be able to come back and add additional resin and that is going to continue to give you that much more resin in that white color. So here's my resin already mixed up one to one with my hardener and my resin. And I'm just gonna mix that with my pigment mixture. That way I've got that much more white resin. The white resin is just so pretty working with these geodes or any jewelry or anything you wanna make for that matter. So now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go on the outside of where I laid in that gorgeous mica metallic dark color. So that way just pour that around the edges and then if you need to, a lot of times I'll just take my little wood stick and I'll do, push it over to the edges. And then let's come around in the center. That's getting that layering effect, like you would see in a stone that's been cut out of a mountain. So that's what we are trying to emulate. So now I'm gonna take just a little bit of gold mica and just pinch a little bit in here in the center just lay it on top. You do wanna make sure that you're always working with um, surgical gloves when you are working with mixing and pouring your mica. So I'll take just an artist brush and I'm gonna to start to kind of blend them. Go from the outer edge and pull it into the center. A lot of times what you're gonna notice, this is like almost marbling. It has the, the beauty of the resin, the pigments, the micas that you're making it holds its shape so beautifully, and then as it starts to dry and set up, it's gonna take on a whole personality uh, that you just can't imagine. Now, if you like this, you could stop right there and let it dry. I'm gonna blend it just a little bit more because one thing I wanna do is I wanna come into those edges. I don't want that clear, 
pull it away. You'll notice how I am laying my brush down and pulling it away from the edge. So that causes that color to go back and fill in on those edges all the way around. And then as I'm doing that, it's gonna start making a third and a fourth color because that white and that dark blue mica is starting to blend. And the cool movement that you're gonna see that's gonna take place in this, it looks so natural. It really does look like a stone. Now I'll take my brush just a little bit and I'm gonna kinda go around in a circle after I blend some of this gold mica. And you'll even see like a swirl effect. Again, it looks like marbling and it looks like stone. Now this will continue to diffuse as it dries, but it really allows me to be able to be creative and play with um, several different variations of the mica colors. Now, after it has set up for just a few minutes, I'm gonna come back and add just a little bit more of my white pigment in. I wanna be able to have just a little bit more detail because you, you can continue to add your colors or your rings because you wanna make sure that the mold is filled all the way to the top without flooding over. So I'm gonna come back. I had just a little bit of my, my dark, dark blue and my gray mica mixed together. Just love that color. And I'm laying this in here so that way I've got a little bit more depth. So fun. As you start to make your own custom geodes, you're gonna see that there's a little surprise at the end when you go back the next day and you're able to kind of see what they look like. It's like, oh my gosh, I forgot. That's why I pulled that out. Now, here's a, what we call a pipette. I can squeeze it to where it will pull some of that resin up and then I can squirt it back out. But I'm also using it as a tool just to be able to kind of pull up like I did my brush to give me some movement in my geo to where it looks like marbling. And then I'm gonna come back and add just a little bit more of my clear resin because I needed some area filled up so my resin is filled all the way to the top of my mold. The great thing about our um, Amy Howard at Home Resin, it, it is non-yellowing and it does a beautiful job of leveling. You're never gonna have any issues with it not leveling out. That's why it's so great to be able to be used with countertops, paintings, but I adore them in working with these geodes. Blending that just a little bit more, making sure that I don't have too many pockets of clear resin. This is gonna be so pretty. Just that little suggestion of that gold mic is gonna be so gorgeous. And I'll be able to come back and gild the edges. Now we wanna allow this to set overnight. And that way we can pop it out first thing in the morning and you'll see your beautiful geode. 